All right, so let's take a look again at another comparison video between the Dobby drone by ZeroTech and the drone DJI Spark by DJI. Flying out here in the desert, that was Dobby just now. I've sped up the footage and now we're skipping over to the DJI Spark. Really appreciate the feedback on the last comparison video. I've got rid of any background uh, music thanks to the rather uh, vocal group of commenters. Um, so you can see Spark is obviously a lot more stable. I had to crop the Dobby quite a bit in this footage um, because there was so much bouncing around black bars from the wind it was having to compete against. And you'll see a few spots here where the Dobby footage still has little black bars that came through despite the cropping with EIS on. I, now I will say I adjusted a little bit of the saturation, a little bit of the contrast in the Dobby footage because again, as I mentioned in the other video, it tends to be a little bit more washed out. I think the colors turned out looking a lot better after doing that. Um, here's the spark. You can see just how smooth it is. There was probably maybe a 5 to 10 mile per hour wind coming through this little canyon here and that was definitely something you can see Dobby's trying to deal with right here. So he's really trying to go forward against this wind and I'm having to crop it a lot so I'm zoomed in. I've lost a lot of detail but with sparks going forward really not a lot of issues here. Um, again that two access gimbal just utterly destroys EIS when there's any sort of challenge to it. Here's a few photos, um, just a hint of a touch-up with some of the colors on Dobby's. Um, interesting, some of the photos came out with a really uh, different tint on the Spark without any adjustment. Dobby again, really a great photo. You can see all the way out into the Mojave Desert there. Um, another photo from the Spark, very similar actually. And the photos again are where Dobby really truly excels. Spark has fantastic photos, but the Dobby I would argue has just as good photos. Now this is not the desert, but just a quick um, refresh of some of the special modes. Dobby does offer object tracking, and it does a fairly good job. It's not perfect, there's some bouncing, and it can't quite keep up once you start sprinting. Here's DJI Spark. Now remember, Spark is a little bit slower of a drone with the GPS stabilization on, but it actually handles someone starting to jog a little bit better uh, than the Dobby does. Now there's also the sport mode, and it's actually quite smooth on the Spark. That's it right there, until where I pulled back and said, whoa, this thing is going really fast. Um, and one other cool mode is the orbit mode, or the circle mode, which is available on both. This is from the DJI Spark, a little shaky there. That being said, I still love the Dobby. Here's an old shot from the Dobby, no EIS on, it works really well. Happy with the Dobby drone, but also happy with the DJI Spark. Both are great drones. The Spark has definitely surpassed it when it comes to terms of video quality. The photo quality between both the drones is pretty equal right now. The price is, it's about double the price for a Spark than it is for the Dobby. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.